Hi everybody, it's Eileen here. I am going to make rosettes, um, lace ones. Um, I know that it's um, a common thing to have on YouTube, but I'm doing them anyway, so I'm going to record me doing them. I do them 12, the first, the larger one, 12 inches long. For the outside rosette. Mama, I will put this back. Okay, Carly. Me too. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Oops. Uh, I can't walk that fast. Uh, uh, so this one's 12 inches long. Then I'm gonna thread. Here, Grandma. Thank you, sweetheart. Thread the needle. I use embroidery thread because I just never buy any <laughs> thread. So I have to use this. Um, but that's okay. I like to separate it. Obviously, I don't think I can get this through the um, hoop anyways if I were to do the whole thing. So I s separate my embroidery thread and I have two pieces now. Grab a needle. I'm not sure if I can see I'm going to try to see it. These are very small holes on this one. I am borrowing Cora's needles. They're pretty small. I think I will use the thicker needle. I can't fit that through. And I know one thread is just too thin. But these tapestry needles are very thick and they're hard to get through, so we'll have to deal with that. Big holes to put it in. Okay, so I'm going to knot the end. I'll give my finger a lick. I wrap it around once and I just twist it. And then pull. That gives me a knot. And I have this end here, and I just have a little bit of tail. Pull that through. Now I'm just going to go back and forth to make this little rosette. You can use them for art journaling and and other craft stuff, altering, alter, uh, altering things. <laughs> um, I like to use them for making girl hair clips, barrettes, and that kind of stuff. So, Cora makes these as well, and she has a video. But it was um, she was very tired that day, so. This is back and forth. So you pull it through. And see how it's forming like a rosette. And that's what you do. So you keep going <clears throat> until you reach the end, back and forth, and then we just pull it right through. You can push it down the butt at the back of the needle, not into the table or whatever, push your material or thread 
or whatever through like that, your needle through it like that. It helps. Then I just pull it all together like that. Find the end, put the two ends together. Then I just do a couple of stitches. Right at the ends here. I'm actually try to match them up a little closer. Tug on this a bit. Fumble it for a bit. <laughs> now I'm just gonna before I do my next stitch, I gotta make sure it's nice and snug. Because now once you start doing some stitches in here, it's going to stay the tightness that you hold it. So when you do a few, then you knot it. And I'm gonna do two and knot it because I just now I'm gonna thread it again. Can't miss that one. I'm gonna do it through once more like this, and then I'm gonna go through the loop of thread that's coming up. And I'm just gonna do that one more time for myself to make sure it's knotted up. And that's it. It is done. Now I'm just going through the thread itself, not the lace. And the first, uh, the first rosette is done. You um, shape it. Now it's normally I glue it, so. Um, I'm not going to hot glue it today. Normally I do, but I'm not in a hurry. So I'm just going to put some tacky glue on it and just smear it up. A, a little, very little dollop. And it's going to dry really clear. So. And that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm actually going to twist it the other way. Oh, I might add a little more because now I flipped it the other way. I'm going to try to make it look like a fold and that there's no seam in there. So that's the first one. I'm going to kind of fiddle with it, but I would like to wait till my glue dries before I fiddle with it. And that's why people usually do hot glue because then there it's ready and done right away. But that's it, like that. Then we can do a center and sometimes you can use like um I'm gonna use a binder clip just to hold that down together. Let's see yes, but I didn't really want to deal with the threads of the glue of the hot glue and stuff. But you can just use a little binder clip to hold it together. And by the time you've done the next rosette, it'll be dry. So then you can do your choice of the next color. You could do a pink center. Um, this one's very nice because it's very small. So then you do this one six inches, half of what you did last time, 12 inches. So you measure it six inches, 
and you do the same thing. Once again, don't forget to add your knot DM around the finger, twist. And you're doing it back and forth all over again. Just back and forth. It's a hard little thing to kind of show. Because the little lace flops into the way. It's just a, a, I think it's called a running stitch. But not everyone's a sewer, so. Whoa, got it knotted up. Back and forth, back and forth. Then you're going to want to pick a bling for the center. Um, it could be a button, it can be like a sparkly bling or something. Um, I have some suggestions like um, you can make, punch out some butterflies and if you put pendant gel on it or Mommy. you emboss it and then you know put some pendant gel on to seal it then then you can um, easily, that's easily worn in your hair, no problem. I think that's unique to have something you've made um, as a centerpiece. You can melt the pony beads and make those little dots. I haven't tried that yet. Um, I think I might try it to make little flowers or whatever. Yeah, so there's lots of things you can put in the center. Um, you can make a toilet, the, the, the molds, the toilet paper molds that I do, and seal it with uh, pendant gel again, and then that will work. I would seal both sides though before you glue it on, not just gluing it on and then sealing it. And then that's it. Now I got all the way to the end on this one. Meet up the ends, match them up. Can I have a freebie for your mama? Yes, one. Thank you. And do the same thing. Ready yet? Do the same thing. the knots. Just go over a few times and then tie your knot into your thread. Like that. It's very quick and I did it again. <laughs> Easy. And if you need to add that little pizzazz on your little hat, like a sun hat or whatever, these are cute. You know what else you could put these on? You can add them to a sandals, the flip flops. Um, they're very cute with just little flowers, and you could put like a button center. And then you could sew the button center on so then it's all sturdy and you don't have to worry about any glue at all. And then you just sew it right to the wrapping, like maybe like this kind of thread matching the color of a sandal and uh, wrapping around you know the little toe part where the flip-flop is so that's cute ideas and especially on little baby shoes and stuff like that you can add little to match the dress and you don't happen to have the shoes to match the dress you can make your own little lace rosettes so now I can hot glue that together and that will be, see it's nice now, that will be perfectly a cute little rosette and then I just put a center in it. So that's how I do my rosettes. And 
I don't know if I have any centers prepared at the moment. I have a couple of beads that I've made, and you can do the same idea but not make them into beads. Um, just layer paper punches together. Or you can bead it and sew it through if you're if you want. But isn't that cute? So I sewed on the heart um, bead that I made. And if you can see, stitched it right through the back. And it's just gonna be a little sturdier than glue. And uh that's the little rosette. I think it's cute and I actually yeah, I'm just gonna use the bead. Um didn't realize how cute it was gonna be. So I think that's cute and the blue in the lace really pulls in the blue on the paper. So that's it. Now it's just figuring out what kind of clip you want it on or if you want it on something else. So I'm going to try to figure out what clip I want it on. So um, if you want to do like a small one that's not too heavy, you can you can probably do a couple stitches onto a clip like this for a baby's hair. Um, as long as the rosette's not too heavy for it, for the baby's hair and doesn't pull out because they're so fine. But you can um, open it up. You could do a couple of loop stitches here, here, around here, and on the other side there. And that's perfect for a baby's hair. So I wouldn't do glue on those kind, this kind. Um, and here's a larger one. I wouldn't do glue because of this part here. So this is the same thing and they have um, places where you can add a stitch if it's a p bigger piece. So you can um, still, again, I would sit stitch around there and, and the ends. There's these clips that you can use. And these are the smaller ones. So like a little girl's, like Cora's hair, it's really thick. This would do like a top portion of her hair, like, you know, doing the hair a little to the side. I wouldn't do all of the hair. I would do a, a, I would do a dab of glue in that, and you can also run a stitch on either side, right here of the center of the rosette, and one there. Uh, after you did a little dab of glue in the middle. So then we'd reinforce it. And you gotta make sure that you pay attention to the direction of the opening clasp because you wanna be able to, well, you're putting this one in this direction. And, you know, it's, there's just different ways to put it in your hair. It's, so you don't want to have it like up and down where the heart's kinda of off and that kind of thing. So, these are really good for the smaller ones. Again, I have the smaller ones here for the infants. This one has no covering on it. Um, we also use these. And how I use these is... I add a felt to the back. And I before I put it on, before I glue the felt onto the rosette, I make a slice in the felt. And I believe I have one done right here. Here's one for Cora's hair. So this is the one she likes to just put on this so it's on the side. She made this one. I have the felt in the back and if I pull this open you can see that it goes right through a little slit. So I put the felt in through first before I glued it to the rosette. Then the barrette was on the felt. Then I put a daub of glue on the, the felt and to the to the rosette and that that is a really good clip um, for a girl with like long hair and fairly thick like Cora's this is another one I think Cora made I believe she made these all because yeah so this is another bigger one that she made and this one's got a button bling this one's just got the little sparkly shiny bling 
And this one has a little metal piece with the shiny in there that we got probably from the dollar store. So that's the pieces. My favorite by far is this clip right here. Just because it doesn't tug at Cora's hair, I find that these get caught in hair. Um, even in my own hair, these little hooks here that open and close get caught. So I do really like these ones better myself. So I think I'll add these ones to it. That's why I got so many of them. But uh, some people have different choices. So if you're making them for other people and stuff like that or to sell them, you can try, you know, make a variety of, of different ones. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you. Okay, I just want to add a little bit of something here with this. Um, with these, to add a little uniqueness, I'm going to um, do my burlap. And what I do with this is I cut between the glue. And I'm, burlap is a little less work. I'm going to do bulk because I want to sell these at a, sale, uh, a craft sale. So now, instead of me cutting out circles of felt, I'm just going to use um, the holes that are existing in here because it's burlap. Put it through. Just squiggle it through. It's just a little tip to make things easier. If you're doing individual, you can be more, um, you know, cut it out or whatever if you're doing just a few. But the burlap gives it a country look, and that's what these rosettes are. They kind of resemble the country look anyways. And isn't that cute? And then you just glue that to the back or stitch it even easier. And glue as well. And um, it's really cute. And it still gives it a very very pretty finish and that's what I'm going to do because I want to do several of these really quickly I am going to use the burlap you can cut the edges but I would then I like to glue them so none of them fray and that's the only thing that's why I'm doing it so I don't have to cut around so I'm gonna like I said you gotta make sure you got your position right for the flower and I'm just gonna do that and that's like a little country rosette for a little girl's hair and it's got the little country style. Isn't that cute? I just wanted to give you that little um, tip. Um, just a little different than, than the felt and um, very easy and less work in the long run. If you're doing a couple it doesn't really you know affect you but if you're doing a whole bunch this is the way to go with a, a roll, a ribbon roll of burlap. This is the way to go because now I got a few ready to go. It takes a few minutes to do that. Where's this? This is nice. Um, you gotta buy the matching color and all that kind of stuff. Burlap will go with anything. And um, you gotta cut them all out. You gotta draw them and cut them all out. Or you can put them through uh, like your big kicks or something. But this is just a lot less work. So if you want, I didn't glue it yet. If you want easy and nice, I would go this way. So that's just my little extra tip. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.